we give glory, honor, praise, and worship to God. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I want you to take heed. Take heed. And once you hear the gospel, I want you to understand that God is going to hold you absolutely accountable. Absolutely accountable for knowing the truth, whether you believe it or not. In Acts 17.30, in the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. So whether you believe it or not, and a lot of you are, I'm, I'm, I constantly hear, oh, God understands me. God knows how I am. God knows my attitude. God knows I sin. And you're not trying to fix it? No, God is not understanding. He's forgiving when you choose to repent and stop sinning. God does not hate you. He loves you. He wants to forgive you. But if you'd rather live a lifestyle of still sinning, God is going to fall absolutely out of love with you. And I have told y'all this abundantly. Time and time again. You know, you guys want to act right so you don't get fired. You want to act right so your parents don't get mad. You want to act right so you don't, you don't take off your loved one, your husband or your wife or your friend. But you're not worried about offending God. You're not worried about what God will do to you. You're not worried about judgment and wrath. Oh, God will forgive me. God will forgive me. Now, if you keep sinning. God understands me. And he's done. We're in the end times. It, it's not the way it used to be. You need to crack open your Bibles. And you guys need to understand. Enough is enough. He's had enough. And Christ is coming back so fast. You can smell him in the air. And I'm not even kidding. And you guys just want to justify and say, it's okay that I sin. It's okay. God still loves me. God's still going to bring judgment and wrath. How it used to be ain't how it's going to be anymore. I, it, it's sickening how you people thinking, oh, it's okay. God knows me. God understands me. Oh, me. Me, 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 me. No. Stop. God is so fed up with y'all because you don't stop. Galatians 5, 16 through 17. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. Stop. I know that secular music sounds good, but worshiping God is better. Notice when you listen to that filth. Bad negative things come and, and judgment comes or wrath comes or testing and, and, and just bad things. And you get in this bad mood and you're all, Ugh, or somebody comes after you. You bring that demonic crap around you and you just, then you get mad at God. Well, you're doing this against me. You do it to yourself. Oh, you watched this movie, and it was it was a horror movie, and all these bad things started to happen. Oh, that's it's it's a coincidence. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. You open demonic portals. You invite demonic entities into your life, into your vessel, and around you, around your children, around your loved ones, around your job, around your vehicle, and then everything just starts malfunctioning. 
but then you want to blame God. Hmm. Last I checked, God is sitting on his throne watching you screw up, throw your life away, and sending yourself straight to hell. By you not changing, you're sending yourself to hell. God doesn't send you to hell. But by God, he gives you the desires of your heart. And you've desired to love the things of this world. And to keep sinning. And to say, it's okay because God understands me. And then you think, oh, I'm going to heaven. The hell you are. Don't work that way. So why don't you be so smart... Since you think you're, you're, you know, know it all that, you know, it, this is all God's fault or yeah, I screwed up, but it's okay. And, and all this, why don't you sit down, shut your mouth and be a good child of God and open your Bible and ask God for all of his wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, and truth to kill your flesh, your feeble mind, your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment. And maybe for the love of God, you'll start to understand we are in the end times. God hates sin. You will fall out of, God will fall out of love with you. God will turn a deaf ear to you. God will turn from you. And you will be left behind. And you will burn in hell. See, I'm not sure where you, some of y'all, I don't think actually understand the actual truth of burning in hell. I think you guys just think, oh, you know, I'll be dead. <laughs> your vessel will be dead. Your vessel will definitely be dead. I'll guarantee you that. But your soul, see, your flesh is weak, but the soul is willing. Your soul wants to go to heaven. And it's strong. But you let the flesh just take over your stupid worldly desires and it's going to be too late, and you're going to be, well, in hell. Do you know how desperate I can walk by people and it, <sighs> try not to cry. If you, you wouldn't understand the gift that I have, along the many other gifts that I have, to walk next to somebody or to sit there and listen to somebody talk or just stand next to you and hear their vest, uh, their, not their vessel, excuse me, their spirit crying and screaming in agony. Please help me. They are sending me to hell. Do you, you, I mean, I can't even put it into words. I, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good thing to hear. It is a gift. I always thought it was a curse, but it's a gift. You're sending your soul to hell, and it's so desperate to go back home to God. But you're selfish, and you're ignorant, and you're blind, and you're deaf. And that poor soul... And God's poor broken heart, Christ's poor broken heart, who died on the cross for your ignorant sins, as he did for mine. But no, it's about you and your desires. Too bad you didn't desire to go to heaven. Because this world's about to be gone. Heaven lasts forever. But yet, you don't want to walk in the Spirit. You'd rather piss God off and send yourself straight to hell. I don't understand the ignorance. Maybe I wasn't built for that. But my heart goes out to y'all. And I pray for you. Glory to God, Yahweh, the Most High, for He is so amazing. Reach out to God. I'm Mother Hefspa with Rise Up Dry Bones, Evangelical Power Ministry International. Repent before it's too late.